Hey guys, this is Paul with FHF Gear. I'm here to go over our Gen 2 chest rig. This is a rig that is designed to be a multi-use, multi-season foundational piece that you can really use for about anything. When you order this, it's going to come empty. So it's a, a chest rig that you wear and can accessorize and customize to however you want to use it. It has uh, loop Velcro on the inside as well as a couple built-in pockets, but this loop Velcro allows you to add in uh, multiple uh, options for kits. We've got waterfowl, fishing, turkey, tactical kit, as well as a bunch of standalone pieces that you can put in, including a bino bucket, optics pad, uh, multiple options really to uh, let you set this up and build it out how you want to. Okay, going over the updates from the Gen 1 to the Gen 2, uh, the first and most noticeable thing is the airframe shoulder harness. The Gen 2 is gonna come with the airframe shoulder harness, which is super breathable, uh, low profile, uh, makes this you know a very comfortable harness. We continued the breathability from that harness uh, down into the air mesh on the bottom, so or in the back. So the air mesh on the back uh, is also much thicker than the previous generation and is just a lot more breathable. While doing so, we added pockets to the back. So there's a six inch wide pocket right here, as well as two slit pockets on the sides that are good for pens. Um, you can get some you know, like pen knife, small knives in there occasionally, but really kind of meant to, for writing utensils. On the front, there is full width molly, so that allows a little more versatility for attachments. Like on this one, you can see we've got an E3 and the shot shell holder on there. Rather than having two single columns there and having to span that, uh, this full, uh, full width molly just allows a little more versatility. On the bottom, we shortened the width of this stretch mesh or i'm sorry stretch nylon down at the bottom which allows easier access to the magnet there's a magnet embedded in there and if you're going to put forceps in there that just lets you reach into that and hit the magnet easier uh, and on the back as far as updates the last update we made was the addition of wing attachment points that will allow addition of wings i'll go over those in a minute but just gives you a little more um stable platform to attach extra accessories to the side if you want to build it out some more. Okay, as far as the other external features on the chest rig go, there's on the bottom, there's molly attachment on the bottom that allows you to attach things like general purpose pouch or bear spray holster, uh, just, you know, multiple different options to mount right underneath. Even with a pouch mounted there, you still have access underneath to drop in, uh, you know, hemostats or something for fishing um, and still reach that magnet. On the back, there are still the loops uh, that allow attachment for a muff to hang underneath or uh, a Rasco pistol holster. So those attachment loops hang down and still allow attachment to end use of the Molly. On the... Um, Side here, there are attachment points for Grimlocks. Uh, you know, we use these to hang uh, carabiners, different things. You know, if you're gonna hang gloves or put in a in-reach mini or, you know, a radio with a clip or something on it, you wanna hang on that. There's one on both sides, allows you just easy attachment right there. Obviously the Molly on the front. And then lastly, there are loops on each side or sleeves on each side that if you have a lanyard attached here and are using this, especially for fishing is where people use this, is they'll clip a lanyard into the lanyard loop up top and then run that coiled lanyard down through the sleeve prevents lines and stuff from getting tangling in those uh, lanyards. So that, uh, you know, beyond the updates that we already covered with the shoulder harness, um, I guess one thing I would mention is on the shoulder harness, we maintain the uh, net catch loop on the back. So that allows you uh, to, you know, hang a net or something, you know, waiting net on the back. All right, going over the interior of the uh, rig, there's a dual entry zipper to get inside. So it opens completely up, um, allows it to open. Zipper doesn't go all the way to the bottom, so it's not gonna flop all the way open and, and spill the contents, but it's open wide enough you can work out of it. On the inside, you're gonna have the, uh, just like before, a full width zipper pocket for things like phones or things you don't wanna lose. You can slide in there, as well as a sleeve pocket. Uh, great for like fly boxes, uh, larger items that you want to just slip in and have easy access to. On the back, there's two smaller pockets. On the back, I use these for, you know, just really organization of about anything. If I'm fishing, I can use it for extra liters. Um, if you're hiking or hunting, you know, I've put lens cloths, all sorts of different things in there uh, behind a bino bucket. On the top, there is a 
rubberized slip basically to pull tippet out of. So you can put tippet down in there and roll that up through. So if you're fishing and you know for anglers, you can open your open this up to get a new fly and still have easy access to pull that tippet out of there. Um, again, the inside is fully uh, lined with loop Velcro, so you can put in the, the kits and customize it. Uh, and I'll real quickly again go over some of the available options. Standalone would be a bino bucket. You can hold your binos in there. Uh, you could put in all sorts of different things from call pouches to shot shell loop holders. And then, you know, we have kits for fishing and turkey and tactical stuff. So really build this out how you want to. Um, next, I'll go into some additional attachment points and accessories you can get if you want to really build this out into a, a big uh, organizational kit. Okay, so if you're going to build this out into a, a full kit like this guy here, uh, and you want to attach these wings, these provide a stable platform for attaching any sort of molly pouches to. I explained earlier these two tabs on the back attach the wings. You can use these as a set. If you buy the wings, they will come as a set, but you can use one or both. Um, so really it's up to you and set it up how you want to. This buckle ends up moving out to the back of this wing, and then you end up with a chest rig that looks like this. This one's got two of them on there. This one, I've got an E3 mounted on one side and the Rhino pouch on the other. Um, it's one of those things where it may seem like a lot at first, but if this is something you want to have easy access to and have all your gear right there in handy and use up the real estate that, that is available to you, this is a great option to really build it out and have all of your gear super handy. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, just email us, uh, let us know how we can help. And thanks for watching.